Hi and welcome to our September 10th auction preview video of Asian Arts. We'll begin here with this wonderful signed Japanese vase. Um, it is bronze, a beautiful kind of ovoid form, uh, really quite nice. You can see the signature here to the underside. It's a lovely piece in our sale. One of my favorite lots in this auction is this, it's actually it's porcelain and it's painted to look like a piece of bamboo. And then it has this wonderful applied spider and um, these flower or leafy branches and a signature to the underside. Really quite interesting. This is estimated at 600 to 900 and it is porcelain, not wood. And it's really, look at all these details. It's really so lovely. Here's a Chinese Fami Vert brush pot with birds and flowers. Really quite nice. And here's the underside. This is estimated at 500 to 700. And a carved jade pair of Peking ducks with lotus flowers on a wood stand at 400 to 600. So again, a nice size. Came in on one of our walk-in Wednesday appraisal days. This is believed to be by the consigner an 18th century bronze food dog. Um, really nice, nice detailing on this nice elephant form base. Um, I'm just relaying what the consigner said, but it is a Chinese bronze food dog that is antique. Pair of Chinese blue and white chrysanthemum vases. So again, beautifully decorated, double ring marked to the underside from one of our walk-in Wednesday appraisal days. A carved red cinnabar lacquered box with a landscape scene with figures at 300 to 500. A collection of Chinese and Japanese art. So we have this blue and white wise men, this pair of Japanese food dogs, and then this cloisonne lidded gourd. So these are all together. Chinese blue and white ginger jar with figures and an outdoor pavilion with a nice carved wood lid. Here's the underside with the double blue ring. Really quite nice Chinese Fami Rose jar. It is missing the lid, but it's depicting a festival of sorts. So you can see the kites, the lanterns, all the figures, pine trees, etc. There's a boat. Here's the underside. Um, it is not drilled. There are a few hairlines, but this is really quite nice at five to 700. A grouping of two boxed sets of signed ink stones. So not quite as nice as the set that we had a few months ago, um, but really interesting at three to 500. Pair of Chinese blue and white vases with food dog lids. As you can see here, really quite nice. Really find this bottleneck vase quite attractive. It is Chinese. It displays dragons chasing flaming pearls surrounded by ruby clouds and flames. Here's the underside, nice age to it. I just love the kind of monochromatic color scale used. In size decorated floral white or blanc de chine bowl. At 300 to 500. Collection of Japanese cabinet vases, which I just love. Um, beautiful attention to detail throughout all of these pieces. So you can see here again, all of the figures. Um, and then a different scene, this is X Skinner. A pair of uh, double gourd vases. The maker of these are actually, is actually identified online. And then we have this lidded vessel with a reticulated lid. From the same state, we have this collection and this is estimated at 400, 600 as is this lot. Um, and so now we have a second grouping of Japanese porcelains and cabinet vases. So we have some older pieces. The teapot is quite nice. Um, this cobalt blue lidded vessel is really nice. And then we have, these are a little bit newer. Um, it's still an interesting lot. Collection of Fami Rose in blue and white. So we have, this is a really nice teapot with the figures. Um, unfortunately missing the lid. And then we also have this teapot, again Fami Rose. This Fami Rose floral decorated bowl, and then this blue and white teapot. We have this white glazed large uh, rotund vase. Nice decorative piece. Large Japanese charger. Um, so larger than usual, and this is displaying the seven lucky gods. So quite nice. 
Um, these are beautiful. These actually just came in last week, so they were a later edition. These are Chinese Fami Rose. They're in good condition. They are displaying gods and deities. Um, so each panel displays a different scene. So there's all these figures and outdoor landscapes, and then they're set below these deities that are dancing and doing other such things. Here's the underside, and then we have the iron red food dog handles with rings. This I really quite nice like. Um, this is a Chinese export punch bowl, but you can see here that they have these semi-erotic scenes um, of these men and ladies sitting with these nude women, um, alternating with birds and flowers. And again, another scene of musicians. So really quite nice, interesting at four to 600. Two Chinese embroideries. So we have one robe and then one skirt. But if you take a look here, this is just really beautifully done. So there's figures and flowers and dragons. And then we have this blue embroidery on silk of flowers with ruby waves. Um, really quite nice. These are actually from a Gaylordsville, Connecticut estate. And this is estimated four to 600. A monumental Chinese Fami Verit fish bowl. So you can see it's really quite nice. Nice, heavy, large piece in good condition, um, displaying birds and flowers with these gilt decorated food dog handles. So spin this around for you to take a look at the handles here. Uh, really quite nice, came from a New Jersey estate. And then we'll, oh, we'll actually do two more things after this. So we have this Wukai style Chinese fish bowl um, displaying carps. And then we're going to jump back. Here's a large, Chinese portrait on silk of four deities or gods. And last but not least, we have this signed Chinese elongated painting on silk of birds and flowers. You can see that it's signed here in the upper left. And I know you can't get a good look at it here, but there are many photos online. Um, or if you would like additional photos, you can call and request them. But that wraps it up for our selection of Asian arts, and we hope to see you on September 10th.